Well, we are back. It's McCowan and Shannon with you, along with uh, our friend and uh, former NHL coach, and now his second uh, stint in uh, Zurich, Switzerland, coaching over there. Mark Crawford is with us. You signed a, what, two-and-a-half-year deal? Yeah, I, I actually signed a two-year deal um, just before Christmas uh, to start next year, but uh, they wanted to make a change after Christmas, so I decided, well, it's a pretty good opportunity. You got a chance to win uh, with the club uh, here, and I said, what the heck? I actually ruined my wife's Christmas present because she was heading to Aruba with uh, with myself. We, were, we had a, a planned trip in January, but we've now postponed that uh, till May, and hopefully I'm still in the family when I get home. <laughs> so how does how does that work, Mark? Uh, did, when did they first contact you? And, and when you say you had a contract to start next year, uh, yeah. was that just a uh, – was – was it just a, a foregone conclusion that Kronberg was going to be dismissed at the end of the season? Uh, well, what happened was um, uh, Ricard signed with Tampere for next year. They do that over here. Uh, I found it a little difficult to, uh, to, to, to realize because it happens with players all the time, too. Players are signing their contracts for next year now. Uh, so, you, you know, we have a few players on our team that will be with different uh, teams next year and it happens with coaches as well so when he announced that he was going to Tempe a, um, I talked to the people in Zurich I said hey I'd really love to uh, uh, to come back and that was uh, the initial contact that I had with them um, we had spoken a couple of times in mid-December and actually uh, came up with a deal for the following year because I was still under contract with Chicago and then uh, they, they wanted to make a change. So they made the change. And then you have to do some, uh, some negotiations with the, the, the NHL club to allow you to come over here. I mean, obviously you get uh, paid uh, uh, well in the NHL. And, and over here, it's, it's, it's okay, but it's not the same level as, as NHL coaches are making. Well, the Blackhawks would be happy to not pay you anymore too, wouldn't they? <laughs> well, they're still paying me, I hope. We'll find it this week. <laughs> Well, this is your second time around with this team. Obviously, you had a good time the first time around. Yeah, I did, actually. We had a great team. Um, you know, I was here for four years. Uh, we won the regular season title um, uh, three different times here. And then we won the uh, uh, the finals, uh, the playoff championship uh, once. We won the Swiss Cup once, and we lost in the finals uh, one time as well. So... Uh, really good success. There were great players. We were really proud of, of uh, how we helped develop the, the hockey over here. And there's a lot of guys in the NHL that are products from uh, from our system. Uh, we brought in Dennis Mulligan, who was with the Leafs, now with Colorado. We brought in um, Jonas Zigenthaler, who's with the New Jersey Devils. Uh, uh, Ronald Kinnon's got a stop in Vancouver. I uh, was a player that played for us. Uh, and of course, everybody knows that Austin Matthews came over and played a year for us as well. So right. a lot of good players have been developed here. It's a great place to play. They got a brand new arena, the Swiss Life Arena. And uh, I'll tell you what, it is going to be the place to play uh, in Europe. Um, you know, uh, NHL teams, I'm sure, will be coming here the way that they're going to those arenas in Prague and in Berlin now. Who are your imports this year? Uh, this year we have... Um, uh, on defense, we have Miko Lettinen, who was with the Leafs and, and Columbus. Uh, he's a good player. Still got, a, uh, I think, NHL potential. Uh, we have uh, um, Lucas Walmark, uh, who played a little bit for me uh, in Chicago. Uh, he was also in Carolina and in Florida. Um, uh, we have Dustin Azevedo, who's a Toronto boy and, and was in L.A.'s system. I think he actually might have been there when I was in L.A. That's how far back he goes um, uh, for the first year. But uh, uh, he played a number of years in um, the KHL, and he came over to Zurich last year. Um, uh, we have, uh, oh, who else do we have? We have a Czech uh, goalie, um, uh, Hronik, who has been injured, but he's coming back probably this weekend. He's won a number of KHL championships and uh, plays for the uh, uh, the Czech national team. Uh, who else have we got? God, you guys, are, you're, you're, you're stumping the band right now. We have uh, Garrett Rowe, uh, who's an American, um, who has played a number of years uh, over here um, in uh, Zurich. 
And I believe we've got, uh, oh, Alex Texier. Uh, oh, Alex really? Columbus. Alex Columbus. Uh, he was a, he's, a, yeah. he's, he's uh, French. Yes, and he's a, he's really an excellent player. And I think the hope is that he'll be back in the NHL before uh, too long. I know in talking with him, that's his goal. Um, uh, he had a number of family issues. I guess COVID really hit his family terribly. And uh, so he decided to come back and Columbus gave him their blessing to come back. I've actually uh, spoken a lot here uh, lately with uh, a number of the uh, Columbus personnel. So they're obviously having an active interest uh, in Alex. Uh, you would acknowledge that, that while they're, you know, ho hockey fans are well aware of the NHL and to some extent, the minors in North America, it seems we know very little about what goes on in Europe. Um, yeah. would, would you say that the quality of hockey that, that you're coaching now is what comparable to the American hockey league? I would say it's actually probably a little bit above. And the reason I say that is because there's, uh, there's a real element of speed and experience over here. Uh, the Swiss league is a very fast league. Uh, when they play American league teams, like they've had a number of American league teams come to the Spangler cup and that sort of thing. Where they have trouble is with the, the, the depth. Uh, we have six imports now in our league, uh, and you couple that with the, you know, we've got some very good um, Swiss, uh, uh, Swiss national players. We've got um, Yannick Weber, uh, we've got Dean Kukan, uh, who plays on defense for us. Uh, uh, you keep going down uh, the list. A lot of our players have had a shot at, at NHL and, and in many cases have played uh, a lot of games. Uh, it's a different brand of hockey over here. It isn't quite as physical, uh, for sure. Uh, but definitely the speed aspect. Uh, we catch a lot of teams by surprise uh, with the, the speed that we have throughout our lineup. Is that primarily because of the ice surface, Mark? I think it is. Yes, uh, for sure. It's, it's largely about that. It's the style of play, uh, I think, as well. You know, there's a lot of influence uh, from, you know, uh, Swedish coaching, from... Uh, Finnish coaching, uh, from uh, uh, Russian coaching. Um, you know, Zurich has, has been traditionally a team that is, uh, when they've won their championships, they've always had a Canadian coach. So uh, I guess that's why I'm back. I think they're hoping to <laughs> strike magic again. Uh, but it is a really good league. And, and I'll tell you what, the other thing, I've told this to anybody who will listen. If you ever want to go and watch a game, you've got to come here to Switzerland to see just how, you know, the fans are. I mean, they, they, they cheer the whole game. Uh, they're singing the songs. It's very much like the uh, European football uh, games. You have to know the songs. You have to know uh, uh, the, uh, the chants. And uh, they do not leave their teams. They're, they're lifelong friends. I mean, I've got a number of friends over here who have married uh, friends from our derby partner and our derby partners here in Cloton. Uh, and, um, you know, he's expected to cheer for that team one, you know, when we have a derby, they'll cheer one game for us and they'll cheer one game for the other team. The guy works for our club. So that's, uh, that's how it is. They have allegiances, they're lifelong. And I'll tell you what, the atmosphere in, in, in the rink is, uh, in many of these rinks is just spectacular. It really is. Mm -hmm.